Welcome back to the Washington State Dynasty and welcome to a snowy Martin Stadium as Washington State will be taking on Oregon State in week 13 of the NCAA season. Oregon State entered today's game 1-9 and in 0-6 and on the season in Pac-12 play while Washington State last week was blown out on the road in Austin Stadium by Oregon and now have to win out with Oregon losing out for them to win the Pac-12 North but it's about time to kick off week 13. Let's get started. Jordan Escalo is set to get us underway. His kick is away and it is angled to Gilmore who will take it out as five to the 20, 25, 30, out of bounds of the 35 yard line, a 31 yard return. And Richard Mullaney, one of the top receivers in the Pac-12 will take the field with the one of the worst offenses in the NCAA, but that is a nice start for them. A seven yard run by Haskins as they will be without their starting running back. First and 10, Del Rio from the pocket. A quick throw to Bolden on the slant route. He goes for 15 yards, another first down. This is the 116th ranked offense as they are only okay at passing. The run game is pretty much non-existent. A loss on the screen pass right there. Now to give to Mullaney. He goes and weaves through a pack of defenders. He is still not down. He gets back up, picks up seven before finally going down. Three wide set for Oregon State on third down. A quick throw across the middle. He's got his man Guyton, and he picks up the first down. Now first and ten once more. A bunch set for Del Rio. Time to throw. A quick throw to the outside. It goes to Villaman. He goes for five yards. It is now third and one. A five-man front. Del Rio keeps it on the read option, trying to get to the outside. He's met and brought down by Taylor Taliulu and Darius Lamora. A goal-to-go situation. Give goes to Gilmore up the middle and he's brought down after a three yard gain at around the one or two yard line. Now third and goal from the three. Give goes to Haskins. He has nowhere to go, only a gain of one. Oregon State will be forced to settle for the field goal. Kick is away. It is now a three to nothing game as we have a studio update. A top 10 matchup in the South as Southern Cal is victorious. Brett Hundley, it appears, got hurt in this game. So Southern Cal has clinched their spot in the Pac-12 championship game. Full house for the Cougars to start off their drive. Jamal Murrow, he makes a great cut, picks up eight yards, already more yards than he had in the first half of last week's game. 177 yards last week against Oregon in all of the game. Two yards per carry, a really bad struggle. Jamal Murrow, 16 carries, 449 yards. He gets one, gets to the outside, looking for a block, doesn't get it. Out of bounds of the 25 yard line moving very quickly. Offense looking already much better this week. First and 10, a dump down to the fullback Chapman. He breaks one tackle, picks up six, and then will bring up third and four. Trips to the left. Luke Falk fires, and he's got Sebastian LaRue. He's into the end zone, a 20 yard touchdown. He played very well last week, was really one of the only bright spots on our offense, and he adds another touchdown right there. 7-3 as Oregon State is back on offense. Haskins on the screen pass, trying to get to the outside. He steps out, picks up six, and that will bring up third down. A four-man front, a 4-4 four -four set for the defense, and a great play by Taylor Taliulu. The debut of that defense right there, the 4-4, four -four, is something I don't really think we've used much so far, but it's something I added to the playbook. We'll have to see how it works out as Jamal Moore loses three. Now second and 13 and going back once more is Kevin Chapman, a loss of two. Third and forever, third and 16, start of the second quarter. Throw to Morrow and it is knocked away an incompletion as Oregon State will take back over on offense. I formation give goes to Haskins. Trying to get outside, nowhere to go. Great pursuit as Taliulu comes away with another tackle. Now only one defensive lineman on third and 10. Another screen pass. And once again, great pursuit. Haskins picks up six yards, but we will get the ball back once more. Jamal Moore straight up the middle. He picks up four yards, and that will bring up another third down. Third and one, twin tight end set. Jamal Moore up the middle of the field. He doesn't get much, but he gets enough. A two-yard gain and the first down. Back to the full house set. Jamal Moore doesn't get it. Now running the option play, and Luke Falk is put down hard but he picks up four. Empty five wide set for Falk. To the outside, he's got LaRue, and a great move. He just made the defender look silly. He's disappointed, and he picks up 22 yards. 
First and 10 trying to get to the outside is Jamal Moore. He cuts upfield. He gets the angle tackle. Picks up 11 yards. Another first down. Now first and 10, 415 left. Luke Falk down the middle of the field to Steve Stewart. The freshman tight end has a 25-yard catch. His first career reception from the full house. Give goes to Harrington. An incredible spin move into the end zone. His second career touchdown. He got his first last week, and he adds another to that total. Gerard Wicks, of course, is out for the season, so it's nice to see Keith Harrington stepping up a little bit with two touchdowns in two weeks. Mullaney so far has been pretty quiet with halfway through the second quarter as Del Rio goes down. Robert Barber actually make that Darius Lamora in on the sack. A nice play by him. Third and long. Del Rio taking a shot, and it hits Daquan Brown in the head, and that will get the Cougars the ball back. Another play from the full house, utilizing it a little bit more, and that time Keith Harrington nowhere to go. He does not pick up anything. Third and 10 for Falk. Time to throw, he throws it, and Craycraft not able to come away with it. He drops it, and that will bring up fourth down and the forced punt. It is second and 10, only one D lineman once more. Mullaney, he still does not have a catch as that one is ripped away by Daryl Monroe. A four wide set, make that three wide for Del Rio, and that is nearly intercepted by Robert Barber. That could have been his first career interception, but he's not able to hang on to it, and the Cougars will come back out on offense. Across the middle, Gabe Marks, he gets it, and that is a questionable first down call, but we will take it. Second and 10, Jamal Murrow, he's moving, trying to get outside, fights forward a little bit. He's able to pick up only around three yards near into the first half. Four wide set on third down. A quick throw to Sebastian LaRue. He picks up 11 along with the first down as we are under one minute left. Going with the triple option. Pitch to Dom Williams. He's got some blocks out in front of him. And he's going. He runs to the corner of the end zone. He's in a 24-yard touchdown and an 18-point lead pending field goal. 11 seconds left for Oregon State. Probably the final play of the first half. A quick throw to Mullaney, and he goes. Oregon State will call a timeout. That's Mullaney's first catch on the day. Now one shot towards the end zone. Del Rio going. He has time to throw. He takes a shot downfield. He's got some men out there. And Mullaney almost catches it off the tip. But instead, we will go into halftime. 21-3, a great bounce back and return to form for the Washington State Cougars. Hopefully they can keep it up in the second half. The second half is now underway as last week we had 177 yards total. This week we have already eclipsed it in the first half as Strong almost comes away with that interception. But now it is second and ten. Straight up the gut. It goes to Moro. He goes for eight yards showing off a little bit of power right there. Third and two. Dave Robinson is the H-back. Moro breaks the tackle shifting through the defense. He picks up ten yards. A much better game so far. Ten carries. 76 yards, empty set for Falk. He dumps it down to Craycraft, trying to cut back. He goes, picks up seven yards. A very nice play from the sophomore receiver. It is now from the pistol for Luke Falk. A quick slant route to Dom Williams. He's not able to break that tackle. Picks up eight yards along with a first down. From the pistol as Chapman is into the game. A quick screen pass. Gabe Marks breaks the tackle. He's into the open field to the 25. Pushed out of bounds at around the 22 yard line. Three wide set for Luke Falk. He had a man in the end zone, but instead a quick curl route to Dom Williams, who picks up 13 yards. Now a go-to-go situation. Second and goal, and Keith Harrington, he loses a yard, and that will bring up third and goal. Under five minutes left in the third quarter. Luke Falk drops back, moving, and he will go ahead and throw the ball away. That will bring up fourth down, and will be forced to settle for a field goal. In the first half, our defense was absolutely amazing, under 100 yards on the day with a sack. So first and 10 to start off. Del Rio trying to turn it around in the second half. Haskins not able to go anywhere. The 4-4 working very well early. A two-yard gain. Now on third and eight for Del Rio. And pressure gets there. He goes down. He loses seven, as that is Daryl Monroe's fourth sack on the season. Now back on offense. Luke Falk in the pocket to the outside. And it's nearly intercepted by Arnold, but he was out of bounds. Now an empty set, a jet sweep to Craycraft. He's past the 54-yard gain right there. A nice play. Third and six, Luke Falk rolling to his right. Throws back to his left, and he threw off his back foot. Had a wide open Kevin Chapman, 
Instead, Oregon State will take back over. Misdirection to Haskins. Not able to be brought down by the first defender. Fights through the second one in Taylor Taliulu and picks up a first down. Offset eye for Del Rio. A quick throw to Smith. He breaks one tackle, not able to get away from the second. He picks up nine yards. It is now second and one with Ortiz in motion. Pitch to Haskins and great pursuit by Eliason and Daryl Monroe. Our linebackers are very deep and very talented. Third and three, Haskins cuts up field. He moves, makes a move, fights through a tackle. A very nice play and he picks up another first down. Shotgun on first and 10. And Robert Barber has reached double digit sacks on the season. Number 10 for him. Second and 18. And a nice play for Gilmore. He's able to pick up 14. Makes it much more manageable on third down. Here into the third quarter on third down. Across the middle. Gilmore once more. He's being the only real player who can do anything to this defense. Malik Gilmore a very nice catch and run. Second and goal. Haskins runs through a defender but falls forward and picks up five yards. Third and goal from maybe the one, maybe the two. Del Rio a quick slant to Victor Bolden. A one yard touchdown as the lead is now to 14 or two touchdowns. Cougars looking to get the kickoff 270 yards of total offense on the day. Keith Harrington now back to return some kicks. I haven't been impressed with Zaire Andre. Harrington trying to get to the outside, makes a move, picks up 30. Nice field position to start the drive. First and 10 on the screen pass. And that was terrible blocking as Don Williams will go back five yards. It is now second and 15. Falk keeps it. He pitches it to Marks. He's trying to get to the sideline. He gets a nice gain of around 11. So that will bring up third down. It is third and three, six and a half minutes left. Pass goes to Craycraft. And he makes a man miss going down the sideline. Two defenders who might be able to catch him. They do get him, but he's now at the 10 yard line. A goal to go situation. We'll get a second look at that. A great move by Craycraft. He makes the defender look silly and then just goes down the sideline. Second and goal from the full house set. Morrow, he goes to around the five, maybe the six yard line. A three yard pickup. 80 yards on the day for Jamal Morrow. As on third and goal, will go to the air to the outside. And that's Sebastian LaRue's fourth touchdown on the season. He has played incredibly well these last two weeks. Really stepping up as he'll probably be our number one or two receiver next year with the graduation of Gabe Marks and Dom Williams. First and ten for Del Rio to start the drive. A drag route to Gilmore. He's tackled by Taylor Taliulu, but he picks up a very big gain of 15. Mullaney in motion. Del Rio to the air once more to the sideline. Haskins only able to pick up around two yards. It is now second and eight with a two-man front. Del Rio to his left. He's got Smith. And a great tackle by Taylor Talulu. He struggled with his tackles in another game, but he's been very sure in this one. First and 10 slant route to Gilmore. He goes for nine yards. That will bring up second and very short. So now on second and one, a 3-3-5 set for the Cougars defense. Across the middle to Hopkins. And he's able to pick up 12 yards. A very nice play from actually that's a left tackle playing a little bit of tight end. Now that is Villaman, and he goes for three yards. It is now second and seven. On second and down, offset I one tight end. Del Rio on the roll. He throws to Caleb Smith. That's an actual tight end, number 10, and he gets the touchdown. It is now a two-score game with 321 left. Onside kick. Got to get it if you're Oregon State. They don't. Sua comes away with it. The senior linebacker in on the hands team. He's not going to pick up anything. But now with two and a half minutes left, just got to run the clock out. Jamal Moore trying to get to the outside. He goes with a stutter step and is tackled from behind a pickup of nine yards. So now split back set on first and ten. Going to the air, Keith Harrington makes the defender miss. As that is a gain of five with a couple of prospects visiting. We're trying to show off for them. Four-star wide receiver Melvin Hall probably wants to see a little bit more of a passing attack. That might explain the pass right there. Six-yard gain and the first down. Jamal Murrow trying to get to the outside, and he's brought down a loss of four. Oregon State uses their final timeout, and if we get one first down, this game is probably over. Jamal Murrow to the outside. He cuts, picks up 12. It is now third and very manageable. From the shotgun, and that's a delay of game from Luke Falk. you got to be kidding me. You have to be smarter than that. That will bring up third and seven. 113 left. Luke Falk to the air, trying to escape the pocket. 
and he will be sacked as he did want the clock to continue to run. He loses eight. A heads up play right there from Falk to continue the clock as now under 30 seconds left. Breshers is on and he nails the field goal close to the right upright but he does get it to go. So now 25 seconds left. Kick away to Mullaney. Oregon State has got to get something going incredibly quickly. Down by three scores. This game's probably over, but that's the way to get it started. Mullaney breaks one tackle, streaking down the sideline. He's finally brought down by McClellan. Del Rio going to the air. To the outside. He's got Bolden. He breaks one tackle. A 25-yard gain with no timeout. Oregon State, this game might be over. Del Rio trying to go to the air. He goes. He finds his man, Villeman, and he's down. Picks up the first down. Two seconds left. Oregon State probably with one more shot, but they don't get the snap away. I guess they tried to spike it instead of just throwing, as now this game has hit triple zero. Washington State now has eight wins on the season. A very impressive victory. Oregon State, not a very good team, but nonetheless, this is just very impressive. Luke Falk, game manager stats, really. Two touchdowns on the day, both to Sebastian LaRue. Our offense really came back and played much better this week. We passed the ball much more effectively and more importantly ran the ball much more effectively. A very nice game bouncing back for Jamal Morrow over 100 yards and just 6.2 yards per carry much more than around 2 I think last week or maybe actually around 3 last week. So a much better game from him. Sebastian LaRue continues his hot streak. Like I said he will be probably our number 1 or 2 receiver next year depending on what we do with Craig Craft or maybe Richie Wiley. Our defense was incredibly well. The debut of the 4-4 really stopped their running game. They could not do anything on the ground as our linebackers are very talented and we have around six, maybe seven that we can shuffle in and out to get some nice rest for our starting linebackers. But next week we have maybe not our biggest matchup, but maybe one of the most important against our arch rival Washington, who are number 21 in the nation. We only have one win so far in this dynasty against a ranked team. This would be a nice victory to get. It is at home and Washington they might look 7-4, you might not think they're that great, but all of their losses are to top 10 teams, really top 8 teams. So this is a very battle-tested Washington team, but we have a recruiting update. Greg Covington visited Penn State, and our number one target is heading to Happy Valley. Very disappointing, but some positive news. We get the 4-star wide receiver in Melvin Hall, 3-star center and 3-star wide receiver. Luke Woods and Robert Lundy respectively. Robert Lundy I believe is 6'5 with 95 speed so he's a burner with a lot of size and we pretty much have three targets left. With the loss of Greg Covington we're looking at Wade Walsh. He has some nice speed and could be a nice pass rusher for us as Oregon did just destroy Washington so they've clenched the Pac-12 title or the Pac-12 North title unless I'm missing something we will not be playing in the Pac-12 championship. But we did qualify for a bowl game a couple of weeks ago, and right now we're projected to play Baylor, a very talented team, in the Holiday Bowl. But I'm incredibly disappointed we couldn't get Greg Covington. I was super excited for him. I was hoping he would last to the offseason, and then we could scoop him up, just go all out for him, especially when we only have a few more targets left on our board. It's just very disappointing not being able to get Greg Covington. He's from Pullman, Washington. He would have started probably day one, as we do not have a lot of defense ends returning next year but it is what it is I guess Wade Welsh might be a nice player who could step in and really perform well moving forward if we end up getting and we might not but I hope you did enjoy if you did please leave a like down below leave your comments on the game down below and your thoughts on just the recruiting maybe and some of the star players from this game but I will see you next time for week 14 the final regular season game against Washington it should be a very exciting game but like I said, I will see you next time, because I'm out.